Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. And 1.27 Experimental has just dropped. So I wanted to do a quite a niche video. This one. This is how to make your local Daisy Experimental server run Sakal. Because I believe this is the first time we've had Sakal on Experimental. Or maybe you've never done this before. So I'm kind of relying on the fact that you've already installed a Daisy local server on your PC. And what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description below this video to my how to install one as well. Um, and so what you'll need to do is go to Steam and just make sure that Daisy Experimental and Daisy Experimental Server have been updated. So that will download the latest files. And then what you should find is that when you go to your um, Daisy Experimental Server folder in MP Missions, we now have Sakal. Which is uh, which is fantastic, isn't it? The fact that we've uh, got Sakal. However, you won't have a start batch file to fire up Sakal, um, and you won't have a server dz.config to start Sakal. So they're the two files we need to change. Now, the first one I'm going to change is the server dz.config, so it will fire up Sakal. So I'm going to go into here and I'm going to edit with Notepad plus plus. And then this is the bit that we're interested in. Teplink equals daisy offline.churners plus. We want to change this. Um, so what I'm going to do, to so I don't spell anything wrong, I'm just going to MP missions. And then I'm just going to left click on that, left click again. And I'm just going to highlight it. And I'm just going to copy that and go back to Notepad. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to paste it in here first. Um, so I've got a copy of it. And then I'm just going to go over that. Okay, and uh, this is probably a good time just to have a look down and just make sure you've got things like enable CFG gameplay equals one. Um, wouldn't too worry too much about anything else because you can change all that with your admins. So now what we need to do is we need to file save as, and we're going to call this server dz sac dot cfg, and I'm going to put inverted commas around it so it saves it with the correct extension. Okay. So what we should find now is if we go back into our local server, we've got server dz sac.config. Now the thing that actually starts your server though is the .batch file or the .bat file. I'm not quite sure what the official name is. And I'll want it to launch. See, the, the tricky thing is when you get an update to experimental, um, there's a question mark over whether your mods will work with it, you know, whether something's changed within the daisy.exe or daisyexperimental.exe, which could make them break. So there's an argument for making sure you start your experimental server with the fewest um, mods possible. So I think what I'm going to start off with is just, um, we're just going to start it off with Zomberry, I think. So here we go. So, so start Chinera Zomberry. So what I do is I have different batch files for all, well, most of the different mod configurations and map configurations I want to run. So I've got start Chinera Zomberry, start Chinera with Zomberry, and I don't know what TOW is, I can't remember. Start Chinera Zomberry and Trader, start which is Chernor Zombri and VPP, start with Livonia Map Zombri and VPP, you know, so I make a new one each time. But what we're going to do, we're just going to edit this one. So we're going to edit with Notepad. And what we need to do is change this line here set server config. Now, on, in your file, it might be laid out differently. Sometimes it's, you, sometimes you won't have loads of these things. But the one, what you're looking for is the one that says server config. But you can see it's now the wrong name because that's the server config file that will load up um, Chernerous. So we don't want that. So let's just go back here and make sure we've got the right name. So server like this. So we're just going to right click. We're going to copy that so we don't get any of the spelling wrong. And we're just going to change that. Control V. And then we're going to file save as. And we're going to call, going to call this start sack zombri uh, dot bat and again I'm going to put it in inverted commas so it saves it as the correct with the correct extension and let's just go back and just double check uh, where is it start sack yeah and it's called a windows batch file if you save it without the inverted uh, commas around it or the quotation marks sometimes you'll just save it as a text file 
so you can just put like dot bat on the end of it but I, I find it if you have the it's probably not the best way of doing it but if you have the um uh, best practice if you like of putting inverted commas around generally it works most of the time so what's going to happen now is when we fire up this start sack with zomberry it's going to start up uh, the server with community framework zombie admin tools um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do first though I'm also going to go up to my daisy uh, there we go let's go up to daisy let's go into the workshop folder and I'm going to copy over the mods because I'm not sure the last time these were updated so I don't think I haven't used experimental so CF um, Zombri admin tools was it any others it's just CF and Zombri admin tools it? so I'm just going to copy these because these have been updated in fact I tell you what we're going to go one step further we're going to fire quickly fire up Daisy we're going to fire up the full version of Daisy just to get the launcher up because what this will then do is this will then download the updates to any mods some mods were recently updated here we go yeah so oh, dabs daisy editor uh, daisy horse okay so it doesn't look like any of the ones we were interested in but that, that was a good practice to do anyway so now we can go back to daisy workshop so we want zombie admin tools and cf so we're just going to copy them and then we're going to go back to my daisy server experimental i'm just going to paste them in there replace the files that way we've got the latest versions now it could be there's a bit of a gamble <laughs> i haven't tested this before i've recorded this video whether this is going to work or not so so let's give it a go so um uh, start sakal with zombie so that's going to fire up now generally if we just kind of watch what happens as long as these two windows kind of stay open things are going to be okay okay so seems all right so now what I'm going to do is open up Daisy experimental we're going to go to um, servers and we're going to go to land I'm just going to refresh it just to make sure and we're going to look at it <laughs> this is a new um there's the server description thing that's quite cool you know some would say skills be the game is most helpful data you should have created out there but truth is it's a terrible memory okay brilliant now what you've got to do with experimental daisy is you've got to make sure you load the mods manually so we know yeah they're already mode but it's a zombie and uh cf wasn't it so then we can go back to servers so hopefully if we hit join now it's got the right map on it so keep current selection and join actually they might have changed it so it loads the mods automatically not sure but I generally in, in experimental I always load the mods um, manually like that and let's see what happens we should load in I'm not sure if we'll load in with a fresh character or not actually it should be a fresh character because I've never had I've never run Sakal experimental so here we go bum 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 slowly coming in as you can tell I don't edit my videos they're just straight video with screen recording most of the time but that gives you a better idea of what it's actually like trying to do this thing isn't it again if you're having trouble with mod compatibility just go back to even like for example if this doesn't work I'll go back to no mods I'll just load up the server just to make sure it works and then um, then start introducing mods um, obviously when I'm using the experimental often I'm testing things so it's good to have an admin mod but I guess if zombie doesn't work I would go to vanilla plus plus admin um, so or if you're using VPP and that you know that isn't compatible yet hasn't been updated because remember the experimental version of Daisy is the opportunity for um, the devs to test the game and for us to help them but also for especially for modders to test mod compatibility as well um, and I highly recommend if you're on Xbox or PC, uh, download and play the experimental, experimental versions of DayZ on the DayZ servers um, just to help the mods out and then use the feedback tracker to give them a hand to make sure um, any problems that come across you can tell them and you can be right there we go brilliant so we spawned in that's good let's press O let's make our toggle guard um, 
and uh, yeah so there we go that my friends is how you update your daisy local experimental server to run um Sakal and i guess um uh, zombie admin tools as well so hopefully this has been useful uh, if it has um let's see it let's see how i do that if it has hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and of course i'll see you all again soon